I mean, if she's pushing transgenderism, she's obviously working for Satan. Yeah! Freedom! Paul actually is the demon god of transgenderism. We've got the good liars doing more of God's work and exposing the crazies known as MAGA. At this point, I'm almost convinced that there's like a base ADIQ level cap for people who are willing to vote for Trump. And we're going to get a few looks at exactly why that is in these clips. Hey, I love America and I hate Bud Light because it's full of queers. Yeah, freedom! That was all. So, no, what, what, is the, what does that mean? What did you, you just said? What does freedom mean? No, you said I hate Bud Light. Why do you hate Bud Light? Well, because they, uh, they cater all the wokeness and the, and the not, not the, the un-American spirit. What, what was un-American that they did? Um, hmm. Yeah, they muted him, rightfully so, because he drops a slur at the beginning. His problem with Bud Light that he seems so confused and unable to say is the fact that trans people exist and they sent a beer to one one time. These are the issues that these people think matter. 0.5, 0 0.5% of the population that is just trying to exist like everyone else. And it leads these like lunatics to do insane shit like shoot Bud Light cans, rip their shirts open, yell and scream and, and be complete whiny babies, snowflakes if I will. Yet if somebody did this to a company because they had a white white spokesperson, like imagine an immigrant doing this for like a, a, a company that use, utilizes a white spokesperson, these people would literally cry terrorism. Mall actually is the demon god of transgenderism in the Hindu religion. Their middle name is Devi. That means I am God. So I guess she's a good representation for this country the way it is right now. All about transgender. <laughs> so the demon demon God? Yes. Uh, who do you think uh, Kamala Harris is working for right now? Uh, I think she's you know working for the deep state, but she may be working for somebody more powerful than that, Satan himself. The demon God, Kamala. <laughs> you think Ka Kamala Harris is working for she Satan? Could be. She could be, you really? know? Yeah. I mean, if she's pushing transgenderism, she's obviously working for Satan. This is so <laughs> triggering in so many ways. First off, nobody is pushing transgenderism. Her saying that, well, you know, these are normal people who should have the same rights and be treated like everyone else is not pushing anything. Trans people existing is not shoving trans ideology down your throat. Saying that gender identity that isn't normative comes from Satan just highlights one of the many problems with Christianity as it breeds absolute fascists. If something is against Christian values, this is this shocking revelation here, it's probably a good thing. You know what Christianity has justified in the past? Slavery, domestic violence, genocide, just to list a few. Why the, f why would we base our moral compass on that anyway? And then also the, the deep state. I thought that Trump drained the swamp. I thought that that's why you voted for him is because he came in and drained the swamp. Are we admitting that he failed at this? Maybe he just is the swamp. I don't know. Mike Pence should have overturned the election. I think he, based off of his position and his party, and he was the one that was representing that, I think he should have. So yes, my question is, based should on. Kamala overturn the results of this election if she loses so that she can become president? No, no. Okay, so that's a, a no. If it's a tie like that, yes. Okay, so if it's close, that's good news for Kamala. If it's close, she could overturn it and take the presidency. I, I, I don't want to say that's true. The hypocrisy here is asinine. It quite literally just boils down for these people to our side is justified to do anything and the Democrats are never justified. If the Democrats do anything, we're going to grasp at every straw and try to connect every dot to make some conspiracy about why it's evil. But if Republicans do something, we're not going to ask a single question. We're just going to defend it. I've never seen any MAGA admit wrongdoing of someone in MAGA, especially not Trump. Every accusation is literally a confession with them. They
They say that Democrats tried to steal the 2020 election when Donald Trump is the only one who actually tried. And now I already know they're going to cry about Kamala certifying herself after this election, even though they literally wanted Mike Pence to thwart democracy in the name of Trump four years ago. These are the most un-American people I have ever seen in my entire life. Do, do you feel that uh, the 2020 election was fair? Nope. It wasn't since Obama came in. No it was rigged. They're they're just been rigged since Obama. Correct. Why did Trump win the 2016 election if Obama had already rigged it? I don't know. <laughs> but why would he let that happen if he had already r rigged everything? Man, that's, that's that's further up the chain. I don't know. And this is literally how easy it is to crumble their narratives. People say that Democrats only win because they rig elections. Well, why have Republicans won the same amount of elections as Democrats since 2000? How did Trump win in 2016? Without winning the popular vote, nonetheless. Same with Bush in 2000, because Republicans are a minority in this country, a dying minority, thank God. But they still managed to win elections. Like, it's almost like the Electoral College is rigged for them. I don't know. Like, it's almost like that system inherently favors conservatives. Conservatives and the cope when you when you ask this is they're just like oh well well they failed in 2016 they weren't ready for Trump or or well they have to let some Republicans win or people would know well if the deep state is so against Trump and, and just wanted to fight so hard about him being president. Why would they just let him win when they could have just rigged it, right? I mean, it all falls apart at the least bit of scrutiny, makes absolutely no sense on its face, and it just shows the sheer ignorance of most Trump voters. Their only experience with politics is supporting Trump, yet they will try to extrapolate that and act as if they're speaking from a qualified position on other political topics and issues, and it becomes apparent within seconds of discussing with them that they have no idea what they're talking about. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society, we're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that like button, leaving us a subscribe, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.